Hi, welcome back to Clinky. I'm Mark. And I'm Diane. And today we are taking a look at the Bud Light Seltzer Sour Variety Pack. Yes. 5% uh, alcohol, 100 calories, so, you know, along the, oh yeah, here's mine too, along the lines of uh, White Claw and that sort of thing. I picked up this 12-pack uh, in a uh, typical grocery store, uh, $18. All right, let's... All right, I'm opening watermelon. I'm going to open lemon. I'm going to start with the lemon. We've never had any of these, buddy. No, um... But I've heard good things. Yes, and one of our friends had one of these Bud Light seltzers and said it was good. This is, we were concerned if this is a malt, malt beverage, um, a la Old Zimas and those kinds of things, or if this is actually a hard seltzer. It says on the thing, hard seltzer. So, okay. clinky. This one smells vaguely watermelonish, but not like tons. I don't want to say what this one smells like, because I don't think it smells like lemon, and it smells like something. It smells like cleaner. Thank you. Okay, I was like, I was like, this smells like something that I know that I'm not sure I like. All right, well, let's... What was the Mr. Clean on it? <laughs> Clinky. Let's give there this a go. go. I hope it doesn't taste like that. No, but I probably shouldn't have just brushed my teeth. I probably should have eaten something in between brushing my teeth and having one of these. This is pretty good. It's more flavorful than most seltzers I've had. And it says hard seltzer, and again, we were having this conversation while we're setting up about malt beverage. I think this has a malt, I think that has a, it's lemon, but I also think it has like a yeasty malt beverage-y thing to it that most seltzers don't, but. This does not smell like lemonade. No. Uh, oh, this is watermelon. It's vaguely lemonish. But it's not lemon lemon. This. Also, you know, this box says sour on it. I was kind of hoping for like some sour patch level. It's, it's not. not. It's not. See, I was kind of dreading if it would be an alcohol. I mean, I, if you watch the channel, you know I like Goza. I like sour, fruity beers. I love that kind of element. I was kind of hoping it would have some of that, but not be sour patch kid level. I'm not loving this lemon one. But no. the watermelon one's very good. The watermelon one's, the watermelon, it's in the pink can. It's really nice. Um, it's, it's. If you've had white claw, if you've had a number of these hard seltzers, usually the fruit is in the background, very much in the background. This almost tastes like a... They're more full, yes. It's like, a, full like a Jolly Rancher. Not quite at that level, but kind of that idea. Like, like you put a Jolly Rancher watermelon into a Zima if you're old enough to have been in a sorority when they did that nonsense. Uh, blue raspberry. Green here. apple. Maybe this will have that pucker have, that you're looking for. I have high hopes. I'm generally a big fan of blue raspberry stuff. This, this is very uh, now and later green apple. Smell that. Do you mean Jolly Ranger? What do you mean now and later? Oh, you didn't have the now and laters that I, were kind of like that hard toffee? I kind of know what they are, but I don't know. Okay. This doesn't smell like anything. No, no. Again, that has that kind of malty smell to me, but not a, not a, anyway. Okay, this this is like vaguely pixie stick-ish, but not enough. Oh, try, you're gonna like this one. Ooh, I have a few sips of that because the first sip doesn't quite give you that sour. This one smells pretty green apple. Very green apple. Again, green apple now and later. Not Jolly Rancher, but well, maybe a Jolly Rancher. Wow, okay. Yeah, have the second sip though. The first sip I didn't get all the sour, but the second sip, like, well, I was like, it like puckered in. This one's very green apple, more so than any of the other four. Okay, I'm gonna go. Yeah, ahead. yeah, this one, this one definitely is is pixie stick. It's not like, um, if you watched one of our earlier ones where we did the um, Hornitos, hard seltzers with tequila in them. We had a blue raspberry and that very much tasted like the blue part of uh, a bomb pop. Um, this is not quite at that level. It is, um, it's, it, it's got that kind of, yeah, it's got that pixie stick element to it. I gotta say the only one of these I truly like is watermelon. 
Really? All right, try another. I will not buy another box. Of try this. a couple sips of that one. That one's not bad. This one I think is the, the green apple. Let me pull it in a little bit. Um, this one is to me the one that has the most sour element to it. That one is the strongest flavor, but yeah. it's like, I mean, I guess if you're crazy about green apple, but I'm really not. Uh, <coughs> the lemonade is embarrassing. I don't know. Yeah, the lemon, the lemon, I, I don't even know. I they should have went back to the chemistry lab for that one. Yeah, yeah. And also, you know, um, I doubt, I mean, uh. the whole point of some of these little cans is that you can kind of just open it and drink it. You don't put it in a glass. You just kind of drink these things. Um, but some of the smells are off. Yeah, yeah. And some of the smells are not hard seltzer smells. Again, malt beverage. Think the cans are appealing. The cans are the cans are cute. They're very bright. You you're not gonna you know guess which one you're having. You can tell very quickly. Oh, that you know whatever. Um, um, I d I don't mind. I like the green apple. I don't mind the blue raspberry. I don't mind that pixie stick. You know, sweet element. Lemon trash. I'm just gonna say watermelon's yeah. good. I mean, uh, if you're looking for sour, you, they're not. You sour. can find a better way to spend your eighteen dollars. Well, I mean, a better way to spend your eighteen dollars would be to get that hornitos. Oh, the hornitos was way better than this. Yeah, and again, these are more flavorful, without a doubt. But the yes, flavor is not yes. great. So. Yeah, these are more flavorful. These are more flavor forward. So if you want a seltzer that's more flavor forward. But yeah, the Hornitos, and you're only getting what, an extra 10 calories? I don't know. Something like that. But if you if you like the idea of White Claw, but the flavors are too under the radar, I mean, I guess this might be an alternative. Yeah. I mean, know. it'd be interesting to try their seltzers that are not sour. Maybe. Sure. But. All right. Yeah. Well, I feel like we've. Covered it. Adequately. Uh, thanks for watching. Till next time. Clinky. Clinky.